Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial, we will show you how to automatically populate the border using the Planet Profile Generator. The workflow to accomplish this is pretty easy. It's a setup that takes some work. In general, you need to have a border that is going to be used as a reference file. The border has data fields with associated inroads tags. Then those tags are defined to read a dat file that converts the variable name into a value into the border. Let's begin. So here I've got my border file, and I've got the data fields already set up in the border file. I've got them for starting station, ending station, number of sheets, project number, sheet number, code. Everything's set up as data fields in this border file. Next thing I need to do is get a inroads tag into this design file. The easiest way to do that is just to view some inroads data. And I'm going to view the contours here, but just make sure I turn on attach tag. Hit apply. Not only does that display the contours, but it also puts a tag set into this design file, which is this inroad civil feature tag, and it's the name value field that I want to uh, uh, define for each one of these uh, data fields in the design file. So I'm just going to clean out those contours that were displayed, but the uh, tag will remain in the design file, in the border file. So the next thing I'm going to do is just set up the uh, text to work with this. So I'm going to use uh, Smart Match here. I'm going to uh, Smart Match that data field so I get the correct height and width of text for the tag. And then I'm going to attach that inroads tag. You can see that's the tag set up defined. I'm going to identify the sheet number and then accept it. Now this is the name value that I want to define. And there's a dat file. This is just a simple notepad file that defines the sheet number and then it has the equal sign and then it, the civil sheet number there. That's going to automatically renumber it for whatever sheet is created with the Planet Profile Generator. We also have values for start and stop stationing, total number of sheets, and then some uh, custom ones here for designer, detailer, project number, and date. So for this first one here, the sheet number, I'm just going to fill in the value sheet number and then I'm going to attach the same tag here to the code, project code, and the name value that I'm going to type in there from that dat file was just code, and then the project number, name value from the dat file was project number, and then the uh, next one I'm going to do is the uh, number of sheets there so the sheet number and then the last one for the sheets is the total sheets so I'm just going to copy and paste right out of that dat file that notepad file and I'm going to attach that tag and then paste in that name to make sure I get it right and I'm going to do starting station copy that attach the tag paste in the name value and then I'm going to continue on here and show you the last one. I'm going to do the last one here, date. Attach the tag, fill in the name value, and hit OK. So, so now in my border file, I've got my data fields and my tags attached to those data fields. I'm going to go into my uh, profile.dgn file where I'm going to cut my sheets. So I'm going to go to my civil workflows here and go to Plan and Profile Generator and set this thing up here. I'm going to just do a little section of this Plan and Profile Sheets. And under the uh, Plant Profile Controls, just getting the set up here. The sheet layout, I'm just going to give myself a host seed file, call this PP01. So the border and title, this is what you have to define. That border file that I was just in needs to be used as a reference file. So I'm going to attach the border.dgn file, and then the title block data file is the dat file I've been referring to. So it's just a simple notepad file with a date equal civil date. I've already run through this once, so I'm just going to replace and regenerate all these views. And it's going to create my six plan and profile sheets for me. If I zoom in on the uh, border of this 
planner profile sheet. Move things out of the way so we can see it a little bit better. There we go. You can see here it automatically filled in all that tag data for me. Now this is actually in the, the planner profile sheet, the PP06. This is the, the text is actually showing up in that sheet. I'm going to show sheet number three here and show you what that one looks like. And this one you can see here, it's sheet three of six, and all the other fields are filled in correctly. So again, you need to have the border file set up correctly with the correct data fields and then associated tags, and then you also have to have the title block data file. So this concludes our tip for filling out a title block with inroads data. Thanks for watching. For more tips and tricks, go to envisioncad.com.